Continuing from my previous video on how to record data from the DHT-11 sensor directly to a PostgreSQL database from the ESP8266, in this video, I will demonstrate how to connect to PostgreSQL from Node-RED to display the data sent by the ESP in the database. Before we begin, don't forget to like, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. After the data is recorded directly in the database by the ESP, Node-RED will retrieve this data and display it on the Node-RED dashboard using various visualizations such as gauges, charts, and tables. This is a data table containing columns for time, which represents the recording time, followed by temperature and humidity data. Just like in my previous video, please refer to that video for more details. This is a Node-RED flow used to display data from a PostgreSQL database. First, we need to install some necessary nodes. Click Manage Palette to install the required nodes. First, we need to install the Node-RED dashboard node to display data on the dashboard. Then, install the Node-RED contrib moment for easy conversion of time formats. For the connection to the PostgreSQL database, I'm using the node red contrib postgrester next node. There are many node options, but I've tried several, and in my opinion, this one works the best. In the node red flow, I begin with an inject node as the trigger. The inject node starts initially after 1 second, and repeats at a 5 second interval. Next, there's a Postgrester node to fetch the latest data, ensuring the display reflects the most recent updates. Subsequently, the data obtained from the Postgrester node will be displayed on a text node to showcase the time value, which has previously undergone conversion using the moment node. Following that, visual gauges are utilized to display temperature and humidity data. From the inject node, it triggers another Postgrester node used to fetch the latest 30 data entries. Then, the data from the Postgrester node is sent to a function node that creates an array for both temperature and humidity data. The creation of these arrays is necessary to display data on the line chart in the desired format. Then, this information is displayed on a line chart. To display the data obtained from the Postgrester node in a table, we also need to create an array so that the data can be presented in the table. And here is the result, the node red dashboard showcasing data from the temperature and humidity tables. To display the current data, there's a visual text element showing the last timestamp, followed by visual gauges representing the latest temperature and humidity values. For the last 30 data entries, they will be displayed on line charts for temperature and humidity, as well as in a table. The data will refresh every 5 seconds, in accordance with the interval set in the inject node. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. I've shared the flow code, which you can download from the link provided in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.